Hi, Leo. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. And happy fall. I know it's not exactly fall yet, but I am certainly excited for it to get here. So I am getting ahead of the game here. Already got my house decorated and everything. What about you guys? Anybody else excited for fall? Anybody else basic like me? Uh, I'm looking for some pumpkin spice people, okay? <laughs> anyway, we're here to do your love reading for September 1st through September 15th, 2019. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please know that it will not resonate with every single Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus out there. If it's your story, you'll know. It will resonate with you one way or the other. Uh, if I say you, I it could actually be vice versa. The energies are fluid and can, you know, be you or your love interest. Uh, but you shouldn't have to force it. So if you have to force it, it's not your story. Okay? Um... Those of you that are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you to all of you who have liked, commented, subscribed, and shared my channel. I really appreciate you. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, one thing you'll notice is that I use my pendulum to determine whether the cards should be upright or reverse. So in case you're wondering what the heck I'm doing when I whip that baby out. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, love energies for September 1st through September 15th in spirit. Oh yeah, also I have opened up for personal readings, so if you are interested in booking one with me, you can find my email link in the description box below the video, okay? So spirit, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, love energies for September 1st through September 15th, 2019, please. I have been shuffling your energy into the cards for about 10 minutes prior to turning on the camera. So it's in there. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Hang on a second. Let me get these flippers. Okay. So we got. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, I bumped the camera a little. There we go. All right, so flipping, flipping out, we have the Emperor, which is the card of Aries, the Four of Cups, which is Water Energy, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, and the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries Leo Sag. This looks like somebody who is very resolved in uh, their stand. Whatever their position is, they are resolved in it. Uh, they're not really feeling whatever offers are coming to them however they they do feel kind of beat down somebody feels beat down but they're not giving up but somebody also is maybe either afraid to send an offer because they're afraid they're going to be rejected or they are taking their time in accepting or deciding whether they want to even accept an offer okay <clears throat> so that's a little uh, bonus there with the flippers all right Four, three, two. Oh, that was the magician. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, Leo, okay? All right, so let's see what we got for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love September 1st through the 15th, okay? So first card out is how you feel about your love interest. The Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, currently in reverse. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I doubt that that's supposed to be reversed because if you're here, I mean, maybe there's a loss of passion. There could be, and you're just, you know, in the habit of watching tarot videos. I know how that works. <laughs> okay. Uh, how your person sees you, though, Leo, the Wheel of Fortune. This is currently in reverse as well. It's a card of Jupiter, so Sagittarius could be... You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, how your love interest feels about you is the Fool currently also in reverse. Card of Aries. I will determine whether they should be upright or reversed in a minute with my pendulum, okay? Uh, something significant that happened in the past to lead up to the current energy between you and this person. The Moon. Card of Cancer. Well, it's actually card of Pisces, but it's equally Cancer for me because of the Moon and how it rules Cancer. Uh, it is in the upright, so you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Could have been some confusion in the past. 
some fears getting in the way. We'll see. Maybe it's supposed to be reversed. Um, current energy between you and your person, Leo. Strength, Leo. Got some Leo energy uh, going between the two of you right now, huh? So there is a strengthening. I feel that there's a strengthening going on. <clears throat> strengthening, strengthening of the connection <clears throat> of perhaps the two of you separately. If you are apart right now, I don't know. I don't have enough out here right now to tell. But the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you in the near future or during the time period of September 1st through the 15th is the Empress. Currently in reverse, card of Venus. So it's you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. That is an energy of growth. So if it goes upright, I'd say they are going to be taking some sort of positive action towards you. Your advice when dealing with this person, Leo, is the Page of Cups. Currently in reverse, Water Energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We shall see. I do see those so far. One, two, three, four, five of the seven cards you have are Major Arcana, which means there is heavy divine influence going on here. It's not just about you and your love interest and the decisions you make. There are divine forces at play, okay? Okay. Just want to put that out there. Your projected outcome, our most likely outcome for this time period is the Six of Pentacles. Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, let's see what position they should be in. Your overall energy is Judgment. Currently in reverse, card of Scorpio, I believe. Yep. Let's see, Leo. Okay. Spirit, upright or reverse, please. Judgment. The Ace of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, The Fool, The Moon, Strength, The Empress, The Page of Cups, and The Six of Pentacles. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so yeah, and your, you know, your overall energy card is also Major Arcana, so you literally only have two Minor Arcana cards here. That is crazy, Leo. That is really crazy. Seriously, some divine uh, stuff's taking place. Divine intervention, divine timing, all that stuff, okay? So, yeah, the overall energy for this time period is judgment. So somebody could be having an awakening. Somebody could be making a final judgment or decision on an important issue. Or there could be a resurrection of something that was dead. Somebody's coming back from the dead. We got a zombie apocalypse coming. All right, just kidding. Anyway, it is it is uh, typically a card of reconciliation if you are on the outs with someone, the person that you're thinking about. But again, it could be somebody having some sort of epiphany or awakening or just making a very important final decision about something, okay? How you feel about your person is the Ace of Wands. You dig them, Leo, okay? The Ace of Wands, yeah, you want a fresh, passionate new start with this person, but there are very sexual undertones in the Wands and especially the Ace and the Page in particular, in my opinion, and the Knight, of course, uh, but all of the ones, it's just very sexual undertones and look at the wand. So you feel very sexually attracted to this person, Leo, and you want to get something going with them. You want to start it, a passionate start, new beginning, maybe, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. How your person sees you is the wheel of fortune. They could just see you as a lucky duck, Leo, lucky duck, Leo, right? They could see that, or they could see you as someone who, um, believes in fate and uh, believes in you know the effect the divine and the divine influences that we have they could see themselves as being lucky when they met you you could be dealing with a fixed sign in addition to sagittarius because this is jupiter but these are the four fixed signs which are taurus leo scorpio or aquarius and uh that's change also they could see you as changing leo you could have made some sudden uh changes recently or been going through a lot of changes and they see that okay also how they feel about you as the fool so they also want a fresh new start with you you have that ace of wands but they also want to uh, take a leap of faith with you leo okay in the past though there may have been some fears getting in the way uh, the moon is a card, certainly, of fears, confusion, secrets. There could have been some things that were concealed and hidden from you, you know, that or from them. You could have been hiding your feelings. They could have been hiding their feelings. 
or hiding actual things, you know, or actual, you know, events or just details that you don't want each other to know. But uh, there was definitely an energy of confusion and fear that was getting in the way in the past, okay? <clears throat> However, I feel that those things may have been necessary for you to uh, work out. I mean, usually things are necessary for us to work out. I feel that they strengthened one or both of you. Whatever uh, confusion and fears that people, that one or both of you have been working through or whatever happened has been... Uh, causing you one or both of you or the connection in general to strengthen okay uh the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you in the period of september 1st to the 15th is the empress upright so again you could be dealing with a taurus or a virgo very venusian en energy it is uh and, and therefore i consider it to be a loving energy it is uh essentially though growth and fertility in abundance is the uh, the empress so i would say uh if you're not looking to start a family watch out because this person might be you guys might, might want to be having a talk somebody may be coming forward and saying they want a family uh they want to grow with you they want abundance with you uh and they're planning to make a move growth they want to grow with you they want to expand their own uh kingdom i guess and include you in it and they're coming forward to say so i think they're going to try to grow this connection, okay? Your advice is the Page of Cups. So, yeah, you could be being advised to go ahead and make a gesture, uh, an emotional gesture, an apology. Maybe if you know that you need to, to apologize to someone or to your person, then go ahead and do it. You're being advised to do it. But if the other person is the one who needs to apologize, then this, I think, is telling you just to be receptive to that apology uh, maybe give the person the benefit of the doubt. Um, I think you definitely have feelings for this person, so you don't want to just throw it all away. You know, uh, be receptive to their apology. Don't, you know, don't be closed off. The outcome, though, is reciprocity, balance. Um, this is, you know, an equal give and take. <laughs> so that's good. If it wasn't balanced before, it looks like it's going to be going forward. Let's get some more cards and see what else we can find out. All right. And I opened the deck and it came right up into judgment, which we have over here is your overall energy. So again, if you are in separation from this person that you're thinking about, then you may see a reappearance of them in your life during this time period. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, please clarify these cards for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for September 1st through September 15th, 2019. Leo. Love energies for September 1st through September 15th, 2019. Please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Here we go. Sorry for my voice. It sounds froggy right now, I guess. And, you know, if I cough or clear my throat, I've been getting over a cold. All right. So, Leo, clarifying that Ace of Wands is how you feel about this person. The Four of Swords currently in reverse. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys could be on a break. And if this stays reversed, which I have a feeling it will, it means that you don't want to be on a break. You're ready to come back together. You want to hear from this person. You want the silence to be broken. How they see you, Leo, is the Hierophant. Currently upright. Could be dealing with a Taurus. We see Taurus over here as well. Uh, so I feel like they see you as someone who's pretty traditional. Okay? We'll see if it's supposed to stay upright, but I feel that it will be. Um, how they feel about you on top of that fool is the eight of pentacles. So I think they want to work it out with you. All right. Um, something significant that happened in the past uh, to lead up to the current energy between you and this person is the five of swords. It's currently in reverse. That is more air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We'll see what direction that's really supposed to be in. Uh, the current energy between you and your person, the lovers card of Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, you could, uh, honestly, it's going with this strength card. So, uh, 
I, I feel like it's there's a strengthening of your connection going on right now. Whether you're actually together or the time apart is what's strengthening it. Because sometimes it's the absence that does make the heart grow fonder, okay? So if you are in separation, know that it is your connection is getting stronger even though it doesn't feel like it. And if you are, then, you know, you probably are feeling this right now that your connection is deepening and getting stronger. How uh, or the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you during this time period is the magician card of Gemini or Virgo on top of that Empress. Uh, it's currently in reverse. We'll see. Your advice is the Ace of Swords. Currently in reverse. That is more air, air, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then your outcome is the Queen of Wands. Sexy, badass Queen of Wands. Awesome. Uh, that's a fire sign or fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Your overall energy is temperance now. Um... I'm sure that's going to go upright. Let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. Hang on. Spirit, upright or reverse temperance, please. The four of swords. The hierophant. The eight of pentacles. The Five of Swords, The Lovers, The Magician, The Ace of Swords, and The Queen of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, so let's see. I'll make sure. All right, so yeah, your two overall energy cards so far, Leo, Judgment and Temperance, those are two cards of reconciliation. So I feel that many of you are in an actual argument or like you might not even be speaking with this person. In fact, I think that a lot of you are not speaking with this person, but they're coming back or you're coming back and there will be uh, a reckoning. <laughs> there will be balance, will be restored. There is forgiveness and temperance and, and reconciliation is in the air. So just keep that in mind how you feel about this person yeah many of you are on a break and you don't want it you want to come back out of that break you're ready to get this going you're ready to to come back together for the silence to be broken for you guys to speak you know what's on your mind and have that passionate new beginning you're ready to go leo leo is ready to go all right, how your person sees you. They they see you as a traditional person. And this is like my God card of the deck. It's not the only thing that it means, but um, I mean, it can be changes. But I feel that they see you as a very traditional person, very grounded, traditional. Uh, you might be uh, pretty well educated. Um, and I just feel that maybe you are a traditional person and you are probably wanting a traditional type of connection okay like a traditional trajectory you know you want to start off you know you're dating and then you go in your your order and you end up getting married and having a family uh unless you know you're older you might not want the whole family part but uh i do think that they see you as a very traditional person having gone through a lot of changes could be a lot of spiritual changes that you went through recently and they see that about you or maybe you're still undergoing a spiritual change okay how they feel about you, though, they want to work it out. They want to take a fresh leap of faith, a uh, fresh start with you and work it out, work on this connection, okay? In the past, there was some fears, some confusion, some petty energy, uh, egoic uh, arguments, or even if it's not actual arguments with words, it's just the energy that you guys were exchanging with each other was just not good nobody it was a lose lose nobody wins with the type of energy that you were exchanging with this person there was a lot of confusion and fear and probably secrets as well getting in the way you might have been fighting over those secrets but in your time apart um or if you're already even if you've already worked through that because that was in the past uh your connection is strengthening this is a strengthening of this already very strong supernatural type of love connection Okay, your the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you. They want to grow with you. They ha they know that they have what they need. They have the tools to get this going, to make this right, to do what they need to do to grow with you, to have abundance with you, 
to get back with you if you are separated. They are definitely wanting to get back with you and grow the connection, okay? Your advice, be receptive. If, if you're expecting the apology or them to come back and expecting them to show some kind of emotion, be receptive to it. You know, you will gain the clarity that you need. You will be victorious with this person and with this connection, but demand the truth. Do not settle for anything less than the truth, okay? So there were some secrets in the past. Maybe they're not all out and you are wanting the rest of the truth, okay? And it looks like you're going to demand it. Your outcome is the sexy badass queen of wands, okay? Uh, reciprocal energy, equal give and take with this fire sign. Uh, somebody with fire in their chart could be male or female. Um, but it could just be that the connection is going to be super hot, man. <laughs> the queen of wands is super hot, okay? So let's get some more cards and see what else we can find out. Spirit, please clarify these cards for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for September 1st through September 15th, 2019. What's going on for Leo in love? For September 1st through September 15th, 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please clarify these cards as they are laid out and as they are laid out for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Ace of Pentacles flopped out or flipped out. So uh, that's also a new beginning, solid, stable new beginning opportunity. Page of Pentacles, same thing. Could be apology and apology coming, like I said. we have here Leo okay so clarifying that ace of wands with the four of swords in reverse the queen of swords is how you feel about this person this is a Gemini Libra Aquarius air energy so yeah um I, I doubt she's gonna go reversed I feel like even though you want to come off of whatever break you're on with this person and you want a passionate new beginning you want that, but you also are not going to accept any BS, okay? So as much as you want it, you're not willing to put up with any BS from this person, okay? How they see you, the lovers, Gemini, again. So I feel that, yeah, they see you as someone, <clears throat> as a soulmate. I do think that they see you as a special connection, a special, that they know that they have a special connection with you. That you're traditional, you've been through a lot of spiritual changes. Maybe they see you as uh, someone that they were divinely led to with this uh, Wheel of Fortune, Hierophant, and Lovers, okay? How they feel about you is the King of Cups. Hello, they love you, Leo, okay? I love these cards. They're new to me, this new deck. Um, so, yeah, they want to take a leap of faith, work on it, because they love you, Okay. In the past, though, yeah, there was some pain, okay? You've been through a cycle with this person. Uh, with the lovers, it's very soulmate energy, and I just noticed that you got the lovers here and the lovers here right now, like, matching each other. The lovers twice in your reading. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but in the past, yeah, you've been on a cycle with this person. It's been painful. There's been some secrets, confusion, and fear, and petty arguments, and it's caused mega pain, okay, for one or both of you. But I feel it's necessary. Usually, you know, those cycles, we have to unfortunately go through them. Karma has to be worked out. And that's usually the case with these cycles. It's, we're working out our karma, our karma, you know. So uh, the current energy between you and your love interest with this strength card and the lovers. Oh, 
The Three of Swords? What? Maybe that's supposed to be upright. I mean, uh, in the reverse. I feel like it probably is. Okay. Um, the action they're most likely to take towards you with that Empress and the Magician is the Seven of Swords. Currently in reverse. Air energy with both this Three and Seven, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Your advice. The Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Fulfill their wish. I think they're coming to you with a wish. They they want. They're coming to you. They're going to make an offer. They, you're being told to be receptive, but obviously do not compromise on the truth. You know, and I feel like you will have your wish fulfilled and that it will be fulfilling a wish for this person as well. And your outcome is the seven of wands. That seems very oddly placed. Um, that's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. We'll have to take a look at this and see what uh, what's going on with that. Overall energy, eight of wands, something's very fast. And that, like I said, it's, it's clarifying this judgment with the temperance. So this reconciliation is literally going to be like that. It's just going to be like out of the blue, this person is going to come to you or you're going to go to that person. You're finally going to be like, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I'm just going to go to them or call them or text them or whatever. And the next thing you know, there's going to be a lot of back and forth communication and healing communication and it's going to move forward, okay? Spirit, upright or reversed the Eight of Wands, please. The Queen of Swords. The Lovers. The King of Cups. The Ten of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Seven of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so this Three of Swords, thankfully, is in the reverse. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, here is your overall energy, all three of these. Judgment, which is like a, a, a mega reconciliation, you know, uh, something coming back from the dead. I see that as that here. It can be an awakening, but with this, it's being clarified by temperance, so it's definitely a reconciliation, okay? And it's going to happen real quick. Real quick. Okay, how you feel about this person. Yeah, like I said, you want a fresh new start. You want to break the silence. You don't want to be on a break for them. But you're not willing to put up with any of their bullshit anymore. Okay, I think that somebody's put you through some BS there, Leo. Or you, them. Everything I say that I say you could be them or vice versa. Okay, <clears throat> but as much as you want this person, you are not willing to sacrifice the truth. You are not willing to sacrifice your self-respect. You are not going to put up with any bullshit. Okay, how they see you. Yeah, like I said, I think that they see you as having gone through a lot of spiritual changes lately, but I think that they feel that maybe these spiritual changes have led them to you or led you to them because I feel like they realize that this connection is divinely uh, inspired, divinely guided, divinely somehow the divine is involved in this connection. I feel that they actually realize that on some level. Um. And they see you as wanting a traditional relationship as well, okay? Uh, and they see maybe that you were praying for this. Maybe you've been praying for this because also I see like praying prayer with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. You might have prayed for this person and they know it. They might have wished for you. Prayed for you, wished for you. How they feel about you. Yeah, they want to take a fresh leap of faith with you. They want to work it out because they love you. The King of Cups is love. Okay, so even if they haven't expressed it fully yet, because the King of Cups doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve, they do love you very much. And in the past, though, I don't know, there may have been a betrayal, because this Ten of Swords can often indicate a betrayal. And I do see that there was some, <clears throat> some sneaky energy going on here. So there could have been a betrayal, or it could have just been somebody that... Uh, was afraid and kind of running from their feelings and it caused a bunch of petty you know energy exchanges between the two of you and uh ended in one or both of you feeling like you had 10 swords in your back okay 
Um, but the healing is happening right now. I mean, this is definitely healing, strengthening of the connection. The connection is being healed as we speak or during this time period or right before this uh, September 1st to the 15th. Keep in mind, I mean, time is fluid just like energy. So we may be reading for that time period, but it... it it's very difficult to pin time down like that in uh, with spirit because I don't think there is spirit. There's no time in the spirit realm, from what I understand. So you know, it's the best that we can figure out. For some of you, it'll play out before. For some of you, to play out after. And if you even come upon this video two years from now and it, and it resonates, it resonates. Whenever it resonates, it resonates. Okay. So the action that they're most likely to take towards you, yes, they want to come towards you and grow and tell you that, you know, they want to continue growing with you, being abundant with you, perhaps starting a family or, you know, bringing your family back together if you already have one with this person. Uh, they want to manifest that. They want to manifest this uh, reconciliation in the worst way. It looks like it's going to happen. They want to be truthful with you. If they were running from their feelings in the past, because this is an escapist energy, someone trying to run away from their feelings or whatever, they are going to stop that. If they were actually being deceptive in some way or if there was an outright infidelity, they're going to come clean about that. They want to come clean about it. <clears throat> but you probably already know about it because you're in this healing mode um and you had that ten of swords in the past so i wouldn't i wouldn't uh say that this is a third party situation unless you know it's a third party situation okay <clears throat> excuse me all right so your advice again uh be receptive if you're the one who needs to apologize go ahead and extend that apology and extend the truth okay uh to fulfill the wish of this person also i feel your wish will be fulfilled when this person comes forward be receptive to their apology and uh but don't settle for anything less than the truth the absolute truth all right for your victory for your wish fulfillment and your outcome is reciprocity it is a balanced given equal give and take a very passionate connection um, certainly one or both of you could have fire energy in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sag. Well, obviously you do. You're Leo. You have Leo somewhere. So, um, but it looks like the defensiveness is going to drop. Okay. This can indicate giving up on the connection altogether, but I don't see that here with the other cards, especially with the six of pentacles. Um, I feel that the defensiveness is going to get dropped. There's going to be a passionate new beginning for this connection. It's going to be equal give and take going forward. Um, somebody's going to be coming clean about, uh, whatever their feelings or some kind of deception that may have taken place in the past. And this connection is strengthening. Okay. This love, it is a supernatural, uh, karmic type connection and it is strengthening. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading Leo and I hope it resonated. If it did, please comment, like subscribe and share. I really appreciate it when you do. And if it didn't, then please check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs, and you might find something there. Okay? Thanks so much. Until the last half of September. Bye.